Hi guys, this is Dana again from Twin Acres Farm. Um, today, I'm going to do a quick short video on how I make goat milk cheese, farmer's cheese, in my microwave. Easy, right? Easy. Let me show you. So, I got this kit on Amazon. It's a cheese making kit and it's specifically for the microwave. Okay, this is a quart of fresh from my goat's milk. I just milked them, right? Four cups. I'm going to pour this in, right? All we need is vinegar as well. And I'm going to microwave it for six minutes. Now, I have 1100 watt microwave. All microwaves are going to be different. But the key point is, is you want this milk to get to 190 degrees. Once it does, then we're going to add our white vinegar. Now, sometimes it might boil over in the microwave a little bit, right? But, hey, that's why my microwave stays so clean, right? Because I always have to clean it if it boils over. Like, I'm not worried about it. No biggie, okay? All right, so here we are after the six minutes that it's been in my microwave. You can see it boiled over a little bit. Guess what? Going to clean that microwave. Stays extra clean. Um, I only have one hand. Uh, but we're just going to put vinegar into this little slot, right, carefully. And it doesn't matter if it dumps in because that's where it's going. Right, here you go. Pouring that in there. We want to give it a little stir. And what you will notice is that, that the, if you, if you will, the curds and whey, right, are starting to separate. That's what the vinegar does. It's a science experiment, right? I love science. I was a science teacher for middle school for years, okay? It's separating out your curds and the yellow liquid is the whey, okay? We're going to just let it sit for about 20 minutes or so. And it's going to do it separating. That's all you're going to do. If you just want it plain, that's all you do. Now, I make a peppered cheese. If I wanted my peppered cheese, what I would actually do is I would pour in a little bit of pepper juice into it right now. I would chop up a few of my peppers, jalapenos, serranos, whatever kind of peppers you have. And then I would add it in. So it's, you know, this, this liquid is hot. It was 190 degree, uh, degrees. That's what you're shooting for. Um, so... It's putting that flavor throughout the cheese. So after you let it sit for about 20 minutes or so, you're going to use your little strainer. And you're going to catch those basically curds in your little strainer. And the way you have options, we have pigs. So I strain it out into their pig bucket and we give it to the pigs. Some people save the whey and they actually use it to make bread. That's an option. But here is some cheese that I actually made yesterday. And I put it, I put this with the lid in the fridge overnight, and this is the puck, as I call it. I could, you know, on the other side, it'll look like a puck when you dump it out, but this is what you get the next day to enjoy. It's crumbly when you let it strain for a while, if you don't keep any of that whey in it. If you want it creamier, you can leave some of that whey, and it'll be creamier and more spreadable. But this way, we like to eat it on crackers. We like to put it in salads. There's just, just so many different ways that you can eat it. This is the plain. It's just a little salt added. That's it. Okay, about a teaspoon of salt added in. That's all I do. So, microwave, goat cheese, super simple, right? If you have this cool little maker. Like, I work full time. I, you know, teach school, three kids, run the farm. So, I need things that are quick, easy, and efficient to use up all this goat milk. Thanks guys.